the horror themed Z Box. Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm Tylock, and this is Homespun Geek. What's going on, guys? Happy Halloween. Hope you guys are having a great evening. I know a lot of people are going to be out trick-or-treating with their kids. Uh, and Maybe a lot of people might be answering the doors to trick-or-treaters. Not us. We don't do any of that. We stay home and watch scary movies and scary things with each other. Uh, you know, just, just kind of a home time, you know. We just hang out. We don't really get trick-or-treaters because we live in the middle of the woods. And Daniel has kind of gotten a little out of trick-or-treating. He's almost 13, so he's not really a trick-or-treater anymore. So we'll watch some scary movies, eat some popcorn, maybe have a little bit of our own candy, because even though we don't get trick-or-treaters, I definitely still buy candy, guys. Lots and lots of candy, uh, just to kind of enjoy it myself there. Because I'm a big guy, and I enjoy candy. Uh, but yeah, guys, I have the... I believe horror themed Z-Box. Honestly guys though, I haven't been really paying attention to what the theme is for Z-Box. But I'm pretty sure this theme is horror. Horror. Uh, and so I think there's some Ghostbuster stuff in here. That's the only thing that I really remember for sure guys. I'm hoping that is what is in this box and it's not something else. If it is something else, maybe it's a surprise. Maybe it's a Halloween surprise. So. But before we get started guys, just wanted to remind you I'm on the road to 1100. So if you have not already subscribed to me, don't hesitate to hit subscribe before you leave the channel, guys. Hopefully before you finish the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video and hit that bell for notifications, guys. If you want to see when I post in the future, I do post a lot of Funko stuff. Even though lately it feels like I haven't been posting much Funko stuff. But I still have lots of boxes of Funko stuff sitting over there. So always going to have some stuff to open. But this, guys, like I said, is Z-Box. Let's go ahead and get it open and let's see uh, what Halloween or horror theme stuff is in this month's box. Uh, let me cut this right here. I'll tell you also guys, this box is very big. I can't show you this side because it has the address. It's a very big box, but it doesn't feel like there's much in there to be honest with you. Uh, let me fill around. Okay, there seems to be at least four or five things in here. Yeah, okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here. It just It's just very light. Uh, there is a shirt, it seems, right off the top, but before that, I don't like to do the shirt first, guys, so we'll do the shirt last. Right off the top here, the first thing in this box, guys, is, oh, oh, that's cool. It is a keychain. Let me pull it out because you guys definitely aren't going to be able to see it. Uh, yeah, it is a keychain. So it is a Batman Arkham City keychain. Uh, it just says Arkham City, and then it says Escape is Impossible. Uh, I played Arkham Asylum and I played Arkham City. Both games were actually like terrific. I really enjoyed them quite a bit. Uh, I did not play Arkham Knight or Arkham Origins. Uh, I don't know if those are as good as the first two, but definitely the first two are awesome, awesome games. It is a cool little rubber keychain. Uh, I have, I don't really use keychains. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't really use keychains. Uh, I have like one keychain on my keys, and it is Rick and Morty. But I can always find something to hang this from, uh, just to kind of be cool and have the little Arkham art. It is made out of rubber, guys. It's just a rubber keychain there. Arkham City Escape is Impossible. It is a very cool game. I have played this game. I'll put a better picture of it right here, guys, so you can check it out. So the first thing in that box, guys, Arkham City Batman themed. It uh, doesn't really feel horror, uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess it might be horror when all the villains are loose and uh, whatever's going on in Arkham. All right, there's a box here. I'm going to pull that out next. It is a pop. Oh, okay. Ghostbuster Lucas from Stranger Things. I have all of the Ghostbuster pops uh, from Stranger Things. They're actually here. You can't really... You can see Mike and Will. I think Lucas is behind and Dustin's there. Uh, I do have the Ghostbuster Stranger Things pops. I love them. I love Stranger Things and I'm a big Ghostbusters fan. I'm going to assume that that means this is the Ghostbusters item or maybe this is the Stranger Things item in this box. Uh, yeah, not a lot of value to this pop. It is a common from about maybe a year or two, maybe 
I think a year to two years ago, guys. Um, but yeah, it's still a cool pop. I do really like it because obviously I already have it. Uh, but yeah, I will add that though to my giveaway pile. Uh, I don't know about glittering it or customizing that pop like we do with a lot of our extras, guys, for you guys. Um, I don't know if Lucas, maybe we could glitter like his outfit. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it would make a very good custom pop, but you never know, guys. Somebody might like it customized. All right, still trying to feel around, see what else is in this box. All right, it feels like there's a plush and then another box in here and then a shirt. All right, this is another box. Might be a pop. It feels like it's probably a pop or a dorb or a five star, one of those. Uh, boom. Oh, I do like that though. Walgreens exclusive, Friday the 13th, Jason uh, Dorbs. That is, I do really like that. I do not have this. I am glad to add this to my Dorbs collection. I actually like Dorbs. I know some people don't like Dorbs. Specifically, Jetta Patrol doesn't really like Dorbs, but I actually do like them. I don't go out of my way to get them, uh, but when I do get them, I actually enjoy them quite a bit. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, this little Jason Dorbs with the machete and the blue mask. Really, really cool. I like that a lot. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be good with my horror collection, guys. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Really, I am. Uh, feels like I'm making sure there's not anything else in here. There is a plush and a shirt. I'll put the box down here. There you go, guys. The plush. Oh, this one's cool, too. Uh, plush toy. Stay puffed marshmallow man. I think it does something because it's got a it's got a spot in the back here. There's like a voice box or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to see if it does anything. Uh, it says Ghostbusters plush toy with sound. I don't know how you would make it make the sound go off though. Let me see if I can figure it out, guys. All right, guys. So this is the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man plush. I did take. I, I opened this spot on the back of him to take it out and see if I could figure out how to make it the sound. Actually, it just says you can't really see it very well because it's like under his blue, but it says "Squeeze Me." Oh, I probably shouldn't let that play, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble for that, but uh, yeah, so it plays the Ghostbusters theme song guys That's actually really cool. I am a very very big Ghostbusters fan uh, You can't see them in here right now the Ghostbusters pops that have just recently come out I have the entire set they're actually in the living room, living room uh, with the rest of the Halloween decorations guys But yeah, there you go stay puffed plush That's awesome. So so far right guys. This is a cool box. I do really like the Dorbs I do really like the Stay Puft plush. Uh, the the keychain was so-so, uh, and the pop was, you know, Lucas from Stranger Things. I already had it. It's a cool pop. I just already had it. Let me make sure. All right. No, nothing else in there. All right. It is a red shirt this time, guys. Red shirt. I'm going to unfold it and like show it to you guys first. All right. I do like red shirts. I'm glad it's not a black shirt. The shirt this time, oh, I unfolded it facing me. Oh, that's a cool one too, guys. It is just a red shirt and it says the shining right there on like the uh, the breast, where the breast pocket would go. Uh, I do like that a lot. I do like that shirt a lot, the shining. Uh, that's cool, guys. I'm, I'm glad to have gotten that shirt right there. That's pretty cool. Now, I would have liked to have had a bigger graphic, but it does say the shining. It has the ax right there on it. Um, otherwise it is really just a red shirt guys that's the only thing on that shirt is that little logo there that you see uh, it's okay I love the shining I'm gonna probably wear that shirt occasionally maybe not for videos because I like shirts that have like big graphics and you can see them uh, I but I will wear it I'll probably wear it actually as I do like lawn work and stuff like that uh, all in all I'd say this is a pretty good box guys definitely I definitely see the horror theme the only thing I would question about horror is Arkham City uh, that's a video game that's a Batman game a Batman video game it's not really horror um, but Everything else, though, does fit the bill. Stranger Things, I 100% classify as horror. If I didn't, I wouldn't have moved them to the front this month uh, so everybody can see them. Yeah, definitely Friday the 13th. Ooh, I love Friday the 13th, guys. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, so I'm glad to have this in my collection here.
Um, that's a cool Dorbs. This is pretty exciting. I also love the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. I won't push it again because I don't want to get in trouble for the theme song. The shirt though, guys, it is an okay shirt. Like I said, it's just a completely red shirt with a little bitty logo for the Shining right there on the chest. Um, I will wear it. I don't like hate it, but I feel like it would have been cooler if it had some sort of a cool design or logo or graphic on it. I do know that Z-Box, uh, pretty much they just have like, they don't like make their own shirts and when they do, they kind of make their own designs. I'm okay with the unique original designs that Z-Box has. Uh, I think I would have preferred that a little bit more than just a solid red shirt with that little bitty like this big patch thing on there, the, the shining. So uh, I am stuttering all over myself today and I don't know why. This is Halloween guys, like I said, I do love Stranger Things. This is probably gonna go into a giveaway box, guys. I maybe we'll try to see if we can somehow figure out how to customize his outfit. I don't know, anybody have suggestions on Lucas here? I do really like Lucas. Uh, I would say Lucas and Dustin are my two favorite kids from Stranger Things. I used to really like Mike, and I just, after the third season, I don't really like Mike so much because I kind of think he's a little little bit of an a-hole. Uh, but yeah, I do really like Lucas, and I do really like Dustin. So those are probably, like I said, my two favorites. Will just seems, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of Will. Uh, he should have stayed in the upside down. Ah, oh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I do like Stranger Things. I do like the Ghostbusters. I like Friday the 13th. I like The Shining. And I like the video game Arkham City, but I could have done without this keychain. Uh, and the shirt could have been a little bit better, I think. A little bit better this month, especially since this is horror. You get your hopes up for some awesome horror stuff. I want cool stuff for October. So, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. What was the coolest item here? What do you think is the least coolest item here? I did have to end up canceling my Loot Fright, guys, because it was just too, there's too much of a delay on it, and I was afraid I was gonna lose money on it. Uh, I am looking at some other horror-themed um, subscription boxes that are monthly, because uh, I really wanna keep doing that kind of stuff. I really enjoy the, uh, the feeling of the haunted Halloween kind of stuff, the horror stuff. I love horror movies. I love scary stuff. I love creepy stuff. I just do. That's just something I, I really enjoy. I kind of want to start doing videos. I've thought about doing videos about that kind of stuff, you know, opposite of my Funko video. So I'll still do, obviously, Funko because I'm a giant Funko collector, but I really wanted to do more horror or ha scary kind of uh, videos, guys. So, anyway, guys. Hopefully I got a good picture of that keychain. Everything else I think you guys can see pretty clearly, hopefully. Tell me what you think, guys, in the comments below. Again, like I said, what's your favorite? What's your least favorite? What do you think about this box as an overall? Uh, but it is Halloween, guys. You know, I've got some stuff to do. So hope you guys are having a great day. And I think that's going to be it for me. Uh, so as always, guys, I am Ty Lock. This is Homespun Geek. And I'll see you later.